joining me today. My name is Erica. I'm with UMBC Recreation, and this is Gentle Yoga with Meta Meditation. For the yoga portion of this class, it'll last about 10 minutes, give or take. Slow movement in the body, nice deep breaths. Since we have such a short time, we won't get through many poses, but we will get a full body stretch. And then we'll end with about a five minute meta meditation. It is a guided practice if you were unfamiliar. It is also known as a loving kindness meditation because we practice expressing love for ourselves as well as expressing love for those around us. Before we, before we get started, I wanna remind everyone to always listen to your body. Don't push yourself too hard. And always check with a doctor before you start a new exercise plan. We're gonna get started laying down on our back today. Your feet are gonna be facing towards the front of the mat. So you can start in a seated position, both feet planted on the mat, knees up to ceiling. Place your hands on the back of your thighs and you can ease yourself down onto your back that way. But truly, however you get there is fine with me. We're gonna start just like this. Let the knees fall together. Place your hands wide out at your sides to help open across the front of your chest, palms face up to ceiling. And we're gonna just take a few deep breaths here. Each time you exhale, relax the body onto the mat a little more. If you're comfortable doing so, just close your eyes for the next few moments and focus on the breath. Every inhale, we bring in a positive energy to our body. And as we exhale, we release things that no longer serve us. With each exhale, the muscles relieve a little more tension. Take a few breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice cleansing breaths. Straighten both legs so they're onto the mat now. Bend just the right knee, drawing it in towards the chest. Interlace the fingers and hold below the knee, pulling thigh close to body. Foot is flexed. If it's uncomfortable for the knee here in this position, you can hold on to the back of your thigh instead. Thigh comes close to body. Feeling a nice stretch for the low back here. Also massaging our ascending colon. Draw the knee out towards the right armpit here, just allowing us to activate the hip a bit. And leaving the muscles there. Slowly release the leg, returning it to mat. Then draw left knee in towards the chest, pulling thigh close to body, foot is flexed. Keep with those nice steady breaths. Now draw the knee out towards the armpit, opening up the hip. Massaging the descending colon now. Gently release and return the leg to the mat. And draw both knees into the chest, feet side by side. Again, holding below the knees or on the back of the thighs, whatever is more comfortable for you. And tuck the chin in towards the chest just a little to help lengthen the back side of the neck here. Nice length throughout the spine here. Keep the knees drawn in towards the chest, but release your arms down to the floor, palms face up at shoulder height. Let the knees fall to the right side of the mat into recline spinal twist. Knees are lined up with the hips here and head turns to the left. As you exhale, relax the left shoulder down towards the floor. Opening up the chest. Just 
slowly draw knees back to center and let them fall over to the left. Head turns to right. Slowly draw knees back into chest and return both feet to the mat. Extend your right leg up towards the ceiling and cross the ankle into figure four. Ankle crosses over left knee. So if you look down at your legs, it'll look like an upside down four here. Opening the hips here a tad more than we did just a moment ago. If you'd like even more sensation in the hip here, you can float the left foot off the mat. Keep both feet flexed, ankles in line with the knees. And you can thread the hands through and hold on to the back thigh for a bit of support. If you ever take a pose a step further and it's not comfortable for you, you can always take it a step back. Listen to your body. Gently return both feet to the mat. Extend left leg up towards the ceiling and cross the ankle into figure four. And I'll ask you to repeat whatever you did on the opposite side, whether that was staying right here or floating right foot off the mat. Gently return both feet to the floor and slowly roll over to one side of your body. It doesn't matter which then slowly press yourself up to a seated position. We'll want to stick with that slow movement. Come into a comfortable seated position facing the front of the mat. And then extend just the left leg forward. So the bottom of the right foot is on the inside of left thigh. And put a slight bend in that extended knee, flexing the foot, heel pressing into the mat. Draw both arms overhead and then lower into fold, leading with the chest, dropping belly to thighs, lowering arms down by our sides. Gaze is down towards the floor. With every inhale, think about lengthening the spine a little more, drawing belly in. Now walk the hands close in towards the body and lift the spine up right. We're going to switch legs. So right leg extends, left foot comes in. Slight bend in the extended leg, flex the foot, lift both arms overhead and find the fold. Lead with the chest, belly makes contact with thigh. Deep in the breath. Walk hands into the body, lengthen the spine. Extend both legs down the mat. Swing the legs behind you and come into a tabletop position on the hands and the knees, wrist stacked under shoulders and knees stacked under the hips. Round the spine into cat pose, tucking chin to chest, rounding spine, lifting towards the ceiling, drawing belly in. Then we'll start to lift and arch the spine, letting belly hang, tilting head up to ceiling. A few more times, rounding the spine back to cat pose. Lifting and arching to cow. Use your exhale this time to find the roundness in the spine, cat pose. Use your inhale to lift and arch into cow. Then return to a neutral tabletop position. Come into puppy pose, lowering elbows down to the mat, stacked under shoulders. Hands face down to the floor and let the head hang heavy. Just take a few breaths here. Keep a gentle pressure in the elbows to help activate the shoulders here. Return to tabletop position, hands Stacked under the shoulders. Now come into a comfortable seated position. 
then we will move into our guided meditation portion of the practice. If you are new to meditation, the key is to get comfortable in your body. Any comfortable seated position will do. Doesn't matter how the legs are, as long as you're comfortable in your body and your spine is nice and tall, helping to keep the energy move through our body. If it's hard to keep your spine upright for a period of time, we'll be here for about five minutes. You can prop your back up against a wall or on some pillows. You can even lay down flat on your back with your arms spread out at your sides if you prefer. Once you find that comfortable position, if you are sitting, I want you to tilt your chin down towards your chest and keep your gaze focused on one spot on the floor. Your other option is to completely close the eyes. Let's all bring our attention to our breath. And follow every rise and fall of your chest. Now bring your attention to your heart center, the space at the center of your chest. And I want you to picture a hollow cave there. Although it won't be hollow for long, we're gonna fill it up with people that we love. So to start, let's picture ourselves. Who better to start with than ourselves? Picture yourself in the center of your heart. And picture yourself in whatever position you are in now, whether that's sitting or laying down. Picture what you have on. And I want you to picture a smile upon your face. And genuinely smile back at yourself. Repeating to yourself after me, either suddenly or aloud, may I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be loving and kind. Let's keep filling up this cave in our heart. Let's invite in someone who is easy to love. The first person that comes to mind, whether it be a spouse, a sibling, a friend, picture that person in the center of your heart, right alongside you. And picture a smile on their face as well and smile back at them, mean it. Repeating to yourself for them, may you be happy May you be healthy. May you be loving and kind. And this space in our heart can fit in one more person. And this time I ask you to invite in someone who's not so easy to love. Again, the first person that comes to mind, whether it be a coworker, maybe someone you're bumping heads with, a sibling, picture that person in the cave of your heart. Picture them alongside you and that person that's easy to love and picture a smile on their face as well. And I ask you to genuinely smile back at them. Repeating to yourself again, may you too be happy. May you too be healthy. May you too be loving and kind. Take both hands to your heart. Let's take a moment to yourself here. Quietly thank yourself for joining this practice, taking this time out for yourself today. I wanna to thank you for letting me lead you on this practice. There is a light that exists within me that honors the light that exists within each and every one of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys feel relaxed. I hope you enjoyed it also. If you did, please come back. Um, we've got plenty of classes to offer, not just me, but others as well. Try them out, let us know what you think. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your day.